The dastardly murder of senior citizen Trinidad Martins has shocked not only the whole of Salset but the entire state. How can a murderer walk into a house at 7 to 8 p.m. and kill someone in cold blood when Goan villages are known to have closely knit communities? This calls for urgent measures from government and from the neighborhood groups to look after security of senior citizens. We are really shell-shocked to hear about this uh, terrible tragedy, uh, brutal murder of a, a senior citizen. He is a super 80-year-old. And uh, we ourselves now who are senior citizens, I myself a senior citizen, uh, 76 year old. So I feel insecure and I feel frightened too because I myself am staying alone. So now I'm wondering in what way we can secure our safety. So I feel that uh, it is not uh, safe anymore to stay alone uh, because there are lots of uh, elements here. We are having lots of tourists lot of migrants who come here and sometimes they stare at us and uh, they may if they they come to find out who is staying alone and maybe they can plan also to murder any any person who is living alone and has got no support but in this area i don't feel so insecure because we are surrounded by many people and a very friendly neighborhood and the houses are very close by but still i feel uh, we could uh, take some precautions so that uh, nobody will take advantage of us as we are staying alone. And I think the government could do something about this. The, they should, and senior citizens themselves, they should uh, go to the police station and uh, register themselves and inform the police that they are alone and they would like some uh, something to be done for us, for our safety. Maybe they could come and uh, uh, just uh, some visits every month and all to find out whether we are safe and whether we want any help from them. So I appeal the authorities just to take care of the senior citizens who are sometimes helpless. They may not be able to do anything at that time when, when somebody comes to attack them. Supposing somebody comes and we open the door and they can just, uh, you know, do something like, you know, to, uh, throw chili powder or bang their heads and make them unconscious. So I would like uh, some neighbors at least they should be also a little, uh, you know, yeah, in, yeah. They should also take some interest to see about neighbors who are staying alone and uh, supposing they don't open the door in the morning and they should take some interest to see whether they could do something about this. I think the, the police should register people who are staying alone. They should have uh, more uh, rounds, uh, night rounds and something like that. And all the CCTVs, uh, we should operate as CCTVs. Huh? Most of them are not, not in working condition, as they come in the newspapers. Police and all, they don't come at night. Uh, uh, that they should come and give the rounds and see who, who is not there. Because we are all old people are there, no? standing in the house and st staying in the house. So I feel you need somebody and uh, government should see all this, that's it. Oh, petrol pump, oh, oh, No, police, no, just around you, park body, no, the madam Ekliha. Uh, I'm the director. She's alone at home. So, you know, they, they should give a round and see about the she's alone and see what is happening and all. Ask them you need help or something. It's better. There's nothing here. So many people, you know, come this side. You know, they come this side and they, uh, uh, middle of the night, come young, uh, means young ladies, young boys and all. They just come behind our doors and it is, fri it is frightened. We are all frightened. We are also alone here.